so nice to be here again. It's a lovely, lovely spring weather in here. And I came here by skiing and it's really hot. <laughs> the last few weeks we have had many snowstorms and it has been feeling like the winter is just never ending because always when you get a glimpse of this, this warmth and the, you know, this smell of summer, after that, every snowstorm and every cold weather feels really hard to take. Then again, I feel like that is how it is supposed to go. We are here just living with this nature and we are the ones who has to adapt whatever comes. So it's hard at times, but still, I think it's how it is supposed to go. No matter the weather outside, but summer is still coming and I've been planning something for the summer. Last summer I lived and traveled in my van and this year I want to do something similar too. It's time to start planning the van for the summer season. Well, it's not summer as you can see, it's snowing right now, but the summer is still coming and we're actually planning to go on a few weeks road trip with my boyfriend in a month. Last summer I traveled and lived in this van for the whole summer but I lived here on my own but now we are two persons so we have to make some kind of modification so we fit in here and I was hoping that I could do this while it's kind of warmer but since it's not <laughs> and apparently it's not gonna be for a while so I, I would just start yeah I'm gonna take some stuff out and maybe take some measurements and start to plan. Yay! Okay.
fun <laughs> building the van and thinking about summer plans while it's been really wintry for the last weeks. It's been snowing a lot and we've had to stop the building because of the snowstorm and all the snow just coming into the van and making everything wet. So we've had to stop it for many times. This is how it is to make a summer van in the north of Finland. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, Papu! Should we go inside? Yes. The storm has ended now and it's time to continue. Yay. The main problem is that I already, I had a bed and it's a perfect bed, but it only fits one person. But this is a rather small van and there's not much space to put it this way. So now I have to think, how can I fit a bed here that fits two persons? So maybe here, but this is really short, like... Anyway, I just wanted to show you something that has been going on in here and I'm always so happy to show you the nature in here, the changing nature and everything that happens in here because I find it so, so inspiring and so wonderful that I just, I want to share it to everyone and I'm, I'm glad that you're here to watch this so I have somebody to share it to. It's been so nice talking to you and we're gonna continue building the van and I can show you it later when it's done and tell a bit about our road trip plans. But for now I'm gonna leave you in this warm, warm, sunny weather and hope all the best for you and I see you soon. Bye bye.